In this video, I will show you how to transform this photo into this artwork. All right, if you want to find these images, you can check the link in the description. I have all those images there. So let's first start off with create a new file and I'm going to go for 2160 by 2700 pixels resolution. All right, so let's create this and get rid of this background first and move it in the new file. Now, so this is for the background, make it bigger so we can fill the whole area and try to find a nice spot. I want to have most focus on Spider-Man itself instead of the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rasterize this layer first, then go to filter and give it a blur, a lens blur for the background. So we can blur this out. We have more focus on Spider-Man. Let's do something like this so we can still see what's going on there. Click OK. And that's it for this. Now, you can see here I made some bad cut of this rope. So these little things, we can fix this by creating a new la layer on top of it, create a clipping mask, and just use the white brush. Drop the opacity a bit, and you can fix that. Like that. Does it really matter? All right, now let's work on the background because I want to have this background like same color as Spider Man. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a hue saturation on this background. Make sure to press this, you know, only affect this layer. And now I'm going to move these sliders around. They'll have some nice colors. I think something like this will work good. So we have also this red, red, blue, bluish background. And we can even drop the situation here. So he is like even more in the center of this attention. Right, just like that. Next, let's create a curse and let's make this background a bit darker. So we have like a night shot and let's drop the mid tones here. Something like this. All right, now I need to create a light source on the right side because this image has lighting on the right side. So I want to make sure we have a bit of a lighting on the right side. So let's create a new layer on top of all these layers. And let's just select white. Make sure to bring the opacity up. And I'm going to make like a little light source and move it to there. Now, if we press Ctrl T and hold down Ctrl or Command Mac, we can stretch it out. Maybe some sort of lamp or something is there. Oh, and let's make this big. Let's see first like this. And press Ctrl J to duplicate this. And let's also place one behind him. So we have a little bit of lighting going on behind him and in front of him. And we can even make this bigger. Let's see, maybe some nice spot here. And let's eventually even duplicate this one more time. Maybe one more here, some lighting there. Maybe it's some, some helicopter or something that's going on there. All right, let's now work on the colors of Spider-Man. He is way too colorful, so I'm going to create a hue situation. And let's drop these colors a bit so it blends better with this background, as you can see, just like that. And now we can also work on the lighting of this Spider-Man. So we want to make it better. So let's give it the curves. Let's make him dark. Just like that, I tried to find the same same dark tones as the background and him. It's just something like this. And now if we create another curves, we can use this one to make these highlights. So this one I'm going to make light like that. Now press on the mask of it and press Ctrl I or Command I on Mac. And take a black brush and start with making areas lighter again. Sorry, white brush. And you can see here we can make nice lighting on this side. I'm going to do a little bit of brushing here so it doesn't get too dark. Maybe a bit here. Let's make sure this face doesn't get dark. Like that. Let's do his arm there. Make the brush a bit smaller on these areas. Just like that. And let's maybe even here. And let's also do his leg here. Like that. And also this area here. And maybe some here. And now you can see we get these nice highlights going on now. Let's make sure he doesn't get too dark, maybe a bit here on his chest. Not, not too much, just a bit. And maybe a bit more here. Just like that. And now you can see we get nice highlights if you compare this before and after we 
we have this right area dark light and left area darker all right now the next thing i would like to do to this is to add some rain to it to make this look more interesting to look at and maybe some motion in this image so for the rain i'm going to use this image and i'm going to place it above all the layers now make a smart object of it change the blend mode to screen so we get rid of all that all that black and we can even use this as particles maybe let's put some here just some particles for the lighting let's duplicate this and rotate it just like that and let's also use this image for a rain so i'm going to duplicate it again make it a bit bigger and give it a blur so i'm going to use motion blur for this one and with motion blur we can make it look like that i think this range is already nice and you can barely see it but if you're going to make rain it's better to use like a little bit of rain instead of way too much it can ruin the image a lot so this is okay it looks like pretty cool rain but it also doesn't ruin the image so i'm going to just duplicate it a couple times move it around let's see maybe something like this is fine and let's put these raindrops in one folder select them all by holding down shift then make a make a map a folder so we have this folder now of these raindrops i think they look okay now i'm gonna press ctrl e to rasterize this let's make a screen again here and let's add some curves to this so we can make it a bit lighter and if you make take this highlights and you bring it up you can see we can make it like really visible or just a little bit more visible so i'm gonna do a little bit more visible because i don't want to ruin this image with it just a little bit like that i think this looks fine and maybe we can even let's make smart object maybe we can even move it a bit more like that so it's like like going in the same direction as his feet his legs right maybe like some wind is going on there so i think this looks fine and if you want to make it darker you can change the settings here maybe you want it darker like that but i think this is okay now some spots you don't want to have this rain so for instance i would make a mask here and get rid of it on its face maybe a bit less opacity just to not ruin this image but only like things going on around him in the background and stuff like that i think this is fine all right next thing to do here is to i want to lighten up his eyes here so i'm going to create a new layer on top of all the layers and select the pen tool and with the pen tool we can make a perfect selection of this eye so let me go around the edge of this one just like that now we have like the selection if we press right mouse and select make selection and let's leave the feather radius at one press ok and now press d on your keyboard so you have white white as a background here and press command or, or control and backspace right so this is one eye let's do the same for the other one so just use the the pen tool again make the selection again like that and try to put as little points as possible because if you're gonna put too much points you get these hard corners you want to make it soft like a little bit around and let's press right mouse again make selection command the backspace or control backspace and we have like these white eyes now now to duplicate this press command j or control j then go to filter and give it a bit of a blur so for this i'm going to use gaussian blur and you can see here we already made these eyes glow you can make them glow more if you want to if you increase this but you need to find the right spot so this is too much it needs to be a little bit of a glow something like this now if you want to change the eyes the color maybe you want to have them a bit bluish then you can select a blue color here you can select maybe light blue let's make the brush bigger and just use a normal soft round general brush and make like these areas here like that and then try out different different modes here so for this overlay works as you can see soft light also works just try out different of these and try to pick the best one i think i'm gonna leave it like this maybe overlay let's leave it at soft light now because we made this image less saturated it looks like looks like this image can use some colors so we have the color tones right now and now we can add a solid color to this on top of all the layers 
let me first press OK and bring the opacity here down, like really low, just a little bit of a color tone. And here we can change the color. And I think something bluish will work for this because we have already blue tones everywhere here. So you can also try maybe red, but I think blue is nice, especially at night. You see it a lot more blue than all those other colors. So let's do something bluish, like maybe a bit darker, something like this. So we have nice color tones. And here we can select different blend modes. And usually I do maybe overlay. It's nice here. You can also try color, but you get a real different kind of look to the image. So I think I'm going to use overlay because we have also nice contrast with overlay and maybe a bit less, just a little bit of this color to make it better. Now let's create a new layer and press Command Alt Shift E or Control Alt Shift E. Press right mouse and convert this to a smart object. And now we can do the final step. And the final step is to get everything right, like the colors and lighting. So for this, I'm going to go to Camera Raw Filter. And with Camera Raw, I usually finalize the designs with the right settings. So here we can play with the lighting if you want to, maybe a bit darker to make it more at night. And maybe a bit, bit less contrast. I think we have enough contrast here. Let's see, maybe increase the highlights. Let's try shadows. Maybe make the shadows lighter. Let's increase the whites a bit. And let's increase the blacks. Now, if we drop the texture here, we get this really soft effect. So if you want to make it look more like cartoonish thing, you can drop this. I'm going to drop it a bit and increase the clarity so it doesn't get too soft. Now let's move on. Don't need dehys. With the vibrance, we can make this really colorful, maybe you like it more like this. But I'd like to have it a bit more less saturated, not too much. Now let's move on to sharpening here. Let's do a bit of a noise reduction to make it soft. And let's add some sharpening. Now let's move on to color mixer to change these color tones a bit. So maybe to play with the red a bit like that. I don't want to mess with it too much or else we can easily ruin this image. So Usually I do a little bit of changes here, unless I want to change the whole image to a different kind of mood. So try out these settings here to improve your work. Sometimes you can ruin your work here, so you need to do this carefully. Now let's move on to vignette, maybe a bit of a vignette. And calibration here to see if we can change this red a bit. I don't think we even need to do this. I think this is fine. Press OK. And you can see the difference we get a bit more contrast and it looks softer now. This is pretty much done, but what I usually like to do is I like to apply some of my presets, which you can see here. If you want to get these, you can check the link in the description. So I'm going to apply one of my presets to make this even better. Now, the very last step to this is to do some curves here, bring up the highlights a bit and bring the dark tones a bit to the left, to the right, sorry. And maybe some color balance to eventually even get these colors better. So for this, you would actually need a pretty good screen to see what's best for your colors and for the lighting. So this is really different on all types of screens. So it's better to use a good screen for this. And you can also try this one here by curves. Maybe slide them a bit to the right to get like balanced colors. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new and see you on the next one.